Hello everybody, what is going on? I am Joey. So today you join me here from Monterey at Legends of the Autobahn, which is a car show for German cars. So you look out here across the lake and we got quite a few cars from BMWs to Mercedes to Audi. Now any old Mercedes I'm always a huge fan of and as we come to the Mercedes-Benz section, well, there's some quite stunning cars. I mean these two 300Ds are gorgeous. Wow, the spec on this one. It's orange. Really nice. It's got a manual as well. Look how high the hood goes. Full 90 degrees. Makes it easy to work on. Now this is a really rare car. So it's a Mercedes SL600. The rare part about this is it has a 6 liter V12 finished in this silver. Looks amazing. Just it's one of those really shiny silvers. Huge flake to it. Gorgeous car. Check out this whole row of SLs. Amazing. Now, like I said, the 1940s cars I don't really know much about, but I have to say they're the prettiest. I mean this 300D here. Oh my gosh. It's gorgeous. Looks original, but pretty nice. Some proper elegance. Yeah, look at that interior. I want to assume this one's fully restored, but, I mean, just check out the horns, the headlights, the whole front end, I mean, it's just a work of art. It is so beautiful. But yeah, check that out. Look at the windscreen, how small it is. Yeah, and that interior. Absolutely amazing to look at. And then the rear end is probably the prettiest. I wouldn't say it's quite a boat tail, but it's a very nice rear end, the way it all kind of comes together chrome lines. It's beautiful. Also, I always love a good turbo diesel wagon. And well, there's quite a few of those. Lots of colors and I have to say, this bright green is, uh, it's interesting. I don't know if I like it, but it's very unique and a lot of weird colors on these. But yeah, quite a lot of space in the back. And then these are gorgeous here. But this 250C with the tan and then the dark brown is the two-tone really cool dark brown interior as well but they did a really nice job with the color patterns and the choices because it just it really comes together well and then navy blue with a navy blue interior on this 280s but yeah that is gorgeous i'm always the kind of person who prefers a sporty car over a luxurious car I'm checking out these 190es always cool kind of the beginning of the amg era dtm cars super cool this is a 190E 2.6, but yeah, very nice. With the wing and everything. These are always my favorite body style, kind of boxy. And then I believe this is a 2.316, but debadged. Yeah, okay, look, take a look at that engine. That's nice. And you think, okay, it's just a normal C63, but it's got a nice color to it. And then it's got actually a really nice interior. The tan and the black. It's actually a really nice car. I love the paint's color. And then the SEC, obviously a very popular car. But yeah, I've always loved an SEC. And these two are very nice. Now this is a 300 SEL, the 6.3. So this is kind of the very first AMG. Uh, full racing car spec, like the original one. But yeah, check that out. Look at that engine. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. I think we have to start here with Audi, with an original Quattro. Very famous for its rallying history, the four-wheel drive system. But these cars are great. Check out the five-cylinder engine. One of the best sounding engines of all time. Now this R8, um, pretty standard spec, but what I like what they've done is you have the flaky part of the paint here, and where the wrap is, it's hard to see, but there's no flake. And then I like the kind of the German flag stripe design going throughout the whole car. It's actually quite a nice R8. And in this Audi all-road, quite the crazy build. I like it though. Now, a lot of the vintage Audis didn't really make it into the US, but we do have a few here. And one of them I really have to show you guys is this one. So it's kind of reminds me styling-wise of a bit of a Ford Thunderbird, but you can tell, you know, by the fin, big taillight. 
Really gorgeous car. Beautiful interior as well. But yeah, that's a classic. And then here's kind of the Audi RS section. So all the high performance ones, R8, RS3, RS4, RS5. I'll talk about starting BMW on a good note. E39 M5. Obviously, simple gray, but love the color. And yeah, such a beautiful car. Obviously, I kind of consider this the greatest M5 ever because it looked good, it drove well. V8 and that six speed manual, it was just a winning combination. And actually, quite a few E30s here. I always like the E30s. That'll be a future classic for sure. Now what I'm actually surprised at quite a bit is the amount of uh, original 6 Series. It's about 10 of them, but these are always some of my favorite looking BMWs. They're just really long and the angles are just they're so cool to look at, and especially the front end. The way it kind of slopes over rather than being straight at a 90 degree, kind of bends over. But yeah, these are always some of the coolest to look at, a closer look at that front end. But yeah, super beautiful. Now this original M5. An all black with his hand interior. Really nice to look at. But yeah, check that out. That is amazing. Yeah, look at that M stripe and everything. Gorgeous. Now, if you listen carefully, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but you can hear the racing from Laguna Seca about a couple miles down the road. So we're going to go there in the next video and go check out vintage racing. And speaking of Laguna Seca, how about a Laguna Seca Blue E46 M3? Now BMW has done one of the coolest booths here, so you have an M2 there, an M3 there, M4, an M5, an M6, X3M, X4M, X5M, and an X6M. But the cool one here is the brand new M8. Always liked the new 8 series and everyone's anticipating this car. It really be the flagship car of BMW. It shares the same engine with the M5. If you look here, got the new laser headlights. Now it's hard to see the interior on camera, but they've done a really cool stitching pattern. But yeah, really cool car color's great as well. All the carbon fiber details. But yeah, really nice car. So I can't wait to see the reviews on this and see them out on the road, but just based on looking at it here, I could say it's definitely earned its spot as the flagship BMW. So we're now entering kind of what they consider the classic BMWs, so anything pretty much before 80s. So even though you have one E30, but you know, 2002s, Isettas. Yeah, take a look at this Isetta. Absolutely crazy. I think it is the world's smallest car besides the PLP 50, but crazy to look at. I'm not sure which BMW this one is, but it is gorgeous to look at for sure. Look at this green Alpina in front of us. Really cool. Bunch of 2002s. Obviously a very popular car. And 325 wagon, 530, and E39 540. These are great cars because they're much cheaper than the M5, but you still get great performance. Original 1M. These are definitely my favorites for sure original cs's well i think that's a good way to wrap up the video right here so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you haven't yet make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content to come and as always i'm joey and i'll see you next time goodbye <laughs>